Now, the first machine we have here when setting up a Toyota production is the Dingley automatic liquid packing machine. Now we said Dingley specifically because Dingley is the machine that we use at our own factory, but it could be any other brand, but you need a liquid filling and packing machine. Now this is the machine that is used for packing the pure water, sealing it and making it look, you know, properly packed and packaged. So it is the machine that you use for water packing and it can be used for a number of other functions too. But this machine is one of the machines that is required for you in a water production factory. If you want to produce pure water, you will need the Dingley liquid packing machine because it's the one easily accessible in Nigeria. And if you're in Nigeria thinking of starting this business, I will advise you buy a machine that is commonly accessible because when it comes to maintenance and replacements and parts for these machines, you will not have to stress yourself a lot. By the time it's easily accessible, you can quickly get an engineer or an expert, someone who can come and check on your factory and help you rectify the issue. So the first machine is the liquid packing machine. The next machine you will need is the ultraviolet water sterilizer. So this is one of the requirements for water treatment. You will need an ultraviolet water sterilizer because this machine is used for sterilizing the water. After the water has gone through the processes of filtration and after it has passed through all the semi-treated and treated tanks when it gets to the final stop before entering the main machine itself that's the liquid packing machine the water will be sterilized filtered then before packing so you will need the ultraviolet water sterilizer because it's very essential for killing all the microbacteria maybe through all these processes of treatment right from the raw water tank the maybe there are some bacteria that have been able to escape um the treatment by the time it gets to the water sterilizer it will be treated and sterilized there so you will need this as one of your equipment when setting up a pure water factory the next equipment you require are the complete water filter cartridges so these water filtration cartridges will be fired right from your raw water tanks Either you're using a borehole or whatever it is that your source of water is, you will require a water filtration cartridge there. You will also require them at certain points in the factory and right before you start packaging your water. So the water filtration cartridges are very important because that's one of the core things you require for you to treat your water properly in the water factory. So the next thing you also require is the stainless steel pumping machine. So you will require these pumping machines for you to have smooth running access of water at certain points in your factory. That's be it from your borehole itself to your tanks and from your tanks to the machines. You will require pumping machines there. So they are also essential when setting up a pure water factory. The next thing you also need is the ozone generator. So the ozone generator too is also an equipment that is important for preserving your water. So let's say you package your water and you need your water to last for a certain period of time for it to you know maintain its quality and standard you will need an ozone generator to be able to achieve that quality of water so an ozone generator too is very important in your pure water factory the next thing you also require is the four stainless steel water treatment plant now in this water treatment plant i'll put pictures and videos of all these machines as i'm talking there is the carbon and sand water filtration tank. So these water filtration tanks are very important because these are some of those core like equipment. They are those things that by the time the team of inspectors that's NAPDAC come, either NAPDAC or the Standard Organization of Nigeria, they will see by the time they see you have this equipment, it further attests or let's say it further legitimizes the quality of your water. So having all this equipment in place will also help you have a standard pure water factory. You don't need substandard because substandard will just bring you fines and visitations and you know some unnecessary disturbance from the government bodies. So you just need to get the quality so that you can produce the best in the market. The next um, machine you need, the reverse osmosis machine is currently the best water treatment machine in the market 
because the treatment of this machine keeps the water odorless it keeps it up to standard like if you know the qualities of water tasteless odorless etc the reverse osmosis will give you that quality of water so it is highly recommended that when setting up a water treatment factory or even at home you can have a mini water treatment plant and by having the reverse osmosis machine you'll be able to get the quality of water that you truly desire the next equipment you will need is the air sterilizer so this air sterilizer will help you from treating the factory itself from any bacterial or insects that might be flying around this is also a standard requirement when setting up a pure water factory the next thing you will need also is um, the GP tanks so these tanks are like your semi-treated tank, your treated tank, your raw water tank. All these tanks need to be available at various points in the factory. So when setting up a factory, you will need um, GP tanks. And lastly, you also need to account for your plumbing materials. You also need to account for the electrical work and also the labor of people who work for you. So all these things put together are some of the things that you need to keep in mind. When setting up a pure water factory now when it comes to a general amount for all these things an estimate i can give you like a total estimate now of the prices in nigeria but one thing is as the dollar keeps on fluctuating it is going to affect the prices of the machines in the market so i'm also going to leave a contact of the trusted machine supplier they will be willing to walk you through and show you all the equipment that are required to set up a pure water factory so keeping all this in mind, you need to also account for the plot of land where you will be setting up your factory. So depending on the scale of production, you are in the best position to know the size of land that will be suitable for your needs. So someone sent me a message asking me how many square meter it is for our own factory. Our own factory is around 2,000 square meters. But for you, you might need something bigger. You might need something less. So it's up to you to determine the space of your factory and what you want to produce and where you pack your vehicles, where you set up your treatment plants. You need to keep that in mind for yourself when setting up the factory. The only thing that I can say at this point for that is at every location that you need to set up your factory, there is enough dark zonal office with representatives. So advisably, if you have a plot of land, that you wish to set up your own factory. It is best to visit the NAVDAC office and have someone from the NAVDAC office visit your proposed factory site. Then they can do like their own analysis and audit for you. By the time they see it, they'll be able to put you through and tell you the things that you need to keep in mind before you set up your own factory. So I think those are just the basic things that are required for now if you are thinking of setting up your own pure water factory. I'll be sure to drop more tips and more insights on the equipment and the updated prices too on the youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe to the channel also like the video and share it so that we can get more viewers and i'll be able to share more tips about setting up a water production factory